Hello, my name is Aaron Krauss. I'm a student at Hamilton College, and I aim to explore the role of sport in the carceral system. And by carceral system, I'm not just referring to prisons, but also social contexts in which groups experience similar forms of oppression, marginalization, and surveillance. So why does sport matter in this context? Um, the United Nations, through their Nelson Mandela rules, state that sport is a human right for prisoners. They justify this using ideas such as right to exercise, improved mental and physical health, recidivism reduction, youth empowerment, and leadership, among other things. Um, I've looked at other literature, including theories on prison abolition, which has critiqued the idea of preventative justice, which aims to find solution through lowering risk of crime, but that doesn't actually address underlying issues that lead to crime, and justice reinvestment, which exists in the abolitionist ethic, actually tries to address these issues, and it works by defunding from oppressive systems such as law enforcement and then reinvesting that into social programs that empower, promote equity, and promote opportunity. And one form of these programs uh, is positive youth development, which can be implemented through sport either in implicitly with sport alone or explicitly combining sport with other intentional programming. And the implicit strategy has been critiqued because of the idea that sport alone doesn't automatically create an environment for positive social development. And this is especially true uh, in environments that are plagued by anti-black racial ideology, racial stereotypes, sport-related stereotypes, as well as colorblindness. And then looking into prisons, sport serves a variety of roles across different prisons, uh, from being used as a tool of social control, which leads to uh, harmful divisive outcomes to being a source of rehabilitation and re-entry intentionally which leads to positive unifying outcomes both within prison and, and post-release. So my research questions, the first one looks at sport as an implicit um, programming, just sport alone, and although it's been critiqued in the literature, I, that's the only kind of programming that exists in the U.S. prison system, so I'd like to see what the outcomes are. And then on to two, into more the explicit programming, what combinations of sport and skill development slash education best lead to uh, positive outcomes. And then for my third, what are the motivations and strategies of program administrators? Do their ideas have similarities to abolitionist theory or other theories and things of that nature? And then what are the perspectives of participants and what are their tactics? How do they take initiative both within programs and beyond programs? So my methods across the board will include interviewing. For the implicit sports activities such as yard time, I'd like to interview prison officials who observe slash surveil uh, these activities as well as the participant inmates. And then for rehabilitation and reentry programs, I aim to interview administrators and employees as well as inmate and former inmate participants. And then for positive youth development, a similar thing, I would interview in administrators and employees as well as youth participants. And through going through these uh, three facets and in interviews, I hope to gain a lot of qualitative knowledge that can help me extrapolate and make conclusions, possibly. And then in the future, I can hope to search for quantitative data to back these claims. So some potential sites of study. For the implicit prison opportunities, I'm looking toward San Quentin Prison in California, which has a wealth of of sport opportunities just without the rehabilitation intentional programming. And then for the actual intentional explicit programming, I'm looking to the UK, which has a lot of organizations that do this, such as Three Pillars, which uses rugby and fitness, and Street Soccer Academy, which uses soccer. And then for positive youth development, I'd like to look at Play Rugby USA in New York City, which is an organization that has rugby teams and does a lot of outreach into underserved neighborhoods in the city and recruits kids who can use rugby as a tool to develop socially and then f further their educations. And then in terms of implementation, there are high incarceration and recidivism rates in the U.S. and abroad that really need to be addressed. I don't think sport can solve these systemic issues alone, but I think it can really help. And I think it can serve as a hook for education and professional development for those that are inter interested in sport. And then if there are significant results, these can call for more intentional and specific programming in the U.S., which I think should be necessary. Thank you.